So we start the next part of Touch Pathways and we deal with the tracks of Gaul and Broda and then Touch Pathway via Trigeminal Nord. Now in this slide you can see we describe the tracks of Gaul and Broda. Now the sensory impulses concerned with fine touch tactile localization, vibration sense and proprioception are carried to the cerebral cortex via the dorsal column. Now the dorsal column that is the tracks of gall and broda, they are concerned with four, at least four types of sensation that is fine touch, tactile localization, vibration sense and proprioception. Now the first order neurons arising from the periphery and carrying the spine touch sensation have their cell body in dorsal root ganglion. So here is the first order of neurons and they uh, carry the fine touch and they, are, they have the cell body at the dorsal root of ganglion. Now they have unusually long action. The first order of neurons have unusually long actions. This is the first order of neuron and they have unusually long actions. Uh, in contrast to the crude touch pathway we have described before that uh, they have short actions. They, uh, the crude touch had short actions ending in the posterior horn of the spinal cord. But here the first order of neurons they have very long actions and they end in the uh, nucleus gracilis and nucleus cuneatus present at the junction of the medulla and uh, spinal cord. So uh, this, uh, these are a very long action of the first order of neuron in tract of gall and broda. And they pass through the fasciculus gracilis and fasciculus cuneatus. They pass through the fasciculus gracilis and fasciculus cuneatus uh, which are the dorsal column tracts. Uh, but the first order neuron, uh, they relay with the second order of neurons only at the level of this nucleus gracilis and nucleus cuneatus, which are present at the junction of the medulla and spinal cord. Now the nerve fibers, nerve fibers coming from the lower part of the body of the fasciculus, lower part of the body from the fasciculus gracilis or tract of gold. So the nerve fibers coming from the lower part of the body form the fasciculus gracilis or tract of gold. The nerve fibers coming from the lower part of the body are known as uh, they form the fasciculus gracilis or tract of gold. Whereas fibers coming from the upper segments gradually push this push the fibers to the medial side. The fibers coming from the upper segments they gradually push these fibers to the medial side and fibers from the upper part of the body that is above the mid thoracic level from the form the fasciculus cuneatus or tract of broda. So fibers from the upper part of the body above mid thoracic level form the fasciculus cuneatus or tract of broda. Now uh, next order of neurons. Now the, this uh, this the here is the fasciculus gracilis and fasciculus uh, sorry nucleus gracilis and nucleus cuneatus at the level of the medulla and spinal cord. From here, the second order of neurons they cross the midline. You have to remember that usually the second order of neurons they cross the midline. So from the nucleus gracilis and nucleus cuneatus, the second order of neurons they cross the midline and then they. Uh, then they cross to the opposite side and move upwards as the medial lemniscus. So the, uh, the second order of neurons taking origin from the nucleus gracilis and nucleus cuneatus cross the midline and then ascend upwards as the medial lemniscus and ultimately they end in the ventral posterior lateral nucleus of the thalamus. So, this, this is the second order of neuron. They arise from 
the nucleus cunatus and nucleus gracilis at the level of the junction between the medial and spinal cord cross to the opposite side cross to the opposite side and then they ascend as the medial lemniscus and ultimately end in the ventral posterior lateral nucleus in thalamus you are, you already know that ventral posterior medial nucleus in thalamus is a termination of the touch fibers coming via the trigeminal nerve from the face now the third order of neurons arise from the ventral posterior lateral group of nucleus they pass through the uh, posterior limb of the internal capsule and end in the post central gyrus so uh, third order of neuron the third order of neuron arise from the ventral posterior lateral group of nucleus they pass through the uh, posterior limb of the internal capsule and end in the post, post central gyrus and the cerebral cortex now some fibers known as posterior external arcuate fibers arising from the accessory cuneate nucleus passes pass up pass ipsilaterally ending in the cerebellum these are responsible for unconscious proprioception so some fibers known as uh, some fibers known as posterior external arcuate fibers posterior external arcuate fibers arising from the accessory cuneate nucleus arising from the accessory cuneate nucleus is some somewhere around this fasciculus cuneatus and fasciculus gracilis now this access from fibers from this accessory cuneate nucleus they go to the cerebellum and they are uh, responsible for unconscious proprioception so that is all about the tract of gall and broda and that is the dorsal column fibers the first order uh, if we again quickly trace it the first order of neurons having the cell body in this dorsal root of ganglia they enter the spinal cord and pass right uh, up uh, to the ipsilateral side right up to the nucleus gracilis and nucleus cunatus at the junction of the spinal cord and medulla so these are long first order of actions uh, coming right at, right up the spinal cord and ending in the fasciculus gracilis and fasciculus cuneatus in this uh, diagram it is uh, it appears very short but you have to remember that they pass right up the spinal right up the spinal cord to the nucleus gracilis and nucleus cuneatus at the level of the middle and spinal cord and uh, suppose this segment suppose this segment is a lower segment suppose it is a lower lumbar segment then these fibers this length from this lower lumbar, lumbar segment right up to the nucleus gracilis and nucleus is very long so this first order neuron is very long and these neurons are probably the most uh, longest neuron in the body now uh, uh, of course the fibers of uh, the posterior neurons coming from the uh, say from the toe great toe these posterior neurons come right up to the spinal cord and then they further in uh, then they further further extend right up the spinal cord to the medulla junction between medulla and spinal cord so this this neuron this postural neuron is one of the longest neuron of in the body now from the this nucleus uh, gracilis and nucleus cuneatus the second order of neuron uh, crosses the midline they cross the midline and ascend upwards as the medial lemniscus and ultimately end in the ventral posterior uh, posterior lateral group of nucleus in thalamus and from there the third order neuron arises pass to the posterior limb of the internal capsule and ultimately end in the posterior lateral nucleus of the thalamus so that is about the tracts of gall and broda that is the dorsal column of neurons now next we will describe the uh, fibers from the face So now we describe the afferent fibers coming to the trigeminal nerve uh, 
uh, and these are the touch fibers coming to the trigeminal nerve from the face. Now touch sensation from the face region is carried by the trigeminal nerve. Touch sensation from the face region is carried by the trigeminal nerve. Now the cell body of the first order neuron lies in the trigeminal ganglia. Now the cell body of the first order of neuron lies at the trigeminal ganglia. And uh, the second order of neuron starts from a second order of neuron starts from this principal sensory nucleus. Second order of neuron starts from the principal sensory nucleus. Actually the first order of neuron they end in the, the central processes, they end in the principal sensory nucleus. And from there the second order of neuron arises from the principal sensory nucleus, then they crosses the midline and passes up and uh, ends in the ventral posterior medial group of nucleus. Ventral posterior medial group of nucleus. And from there the third order of neuron arises and they pass to the post postcentral gyrus. They end in the postcentral gyrus. So there are three neuron pathways with the second order of neuron uh, crossing the midline. So if we again trace this pathway, it comes from the trigeminal uh, nerve, comes via the trigeminal nerve from the face, the first order of, first uh, uh, cell body of the first order of neuron is at this trigeminal ganglion and the central process come to the principal sensory nucleus where the relay occurs and from the principal sensory nucleus, the second order neuron arises, crosses the midline and end in the ventral posterior is posterior medial group of nucleus. From there, the third order of neuron arises and ends in the postcentral gyrus. Now, we may question: what, what is this dotted line? What is this dotted line running uh, here? It coming below and like that. These are the pain fibers, which we will later describe along with pain. So that is the description of the. Uh, trigeminal of the, of the touch fibers coming from the face by the trigeminal nerve.